हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई स्टडी चैनल द ब्लू इंक द चैनल विल कवर स्टडी रिलेटेड वीडियोज फॉर जे नीट बोर्ड्स एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंट अप्रोचेज न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम बाई यूनिक मैथड्स ऑल्सो आई वुड बी कवरिंग स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक्स विच आर डिफिकल्ट एंड पेनफुल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स and where students feel difficulty each video will cover new techniques and ways by which we can solve any problem within minutes so this is my first video and today we will be starting with our physics and i will be taking class 11 topic fluid mechanics and in that i would be taking manometer as my first topic in this video i would be discussing various ways by which you can solve manometer problems this video is very relevant for je advanced je mains and neat so let's start with our topic manometer so before moving further we should have thorough knowledge of pascal's law and uh, how the pressure varies with height so let's see that first consider a container which is filled with water now consider two points one point on the surface of water and other point at a depth y now we have to uh, tell pressure at point 2 so with the help of pascal law we can easily write that p2 is equals to p1 plus rho g y and we know that p1 is atmospheric pressure here that we write as p not this is atmospheric pressure now the other thing that you should note here is that along the direction of acceleration due to gravity the pressure increases you should remember this point always whenever you solve a problem now we will be rewriting this expression again so basically in this method you have to travel from one point to other the other point will be the point where you have to find the pressure so here are the scheme which you will be following to solve any problem so start from one point and travel up down left and right to reach the point where you have to find the pressure so basically what you have to do you will take the any point and from that point you have to travel uh in the liquid to the point where you have to find the pressure in the second point along the direction of acceleration you have to take positive sign and in opposite direction you have to take negative sign with gauge pressure what is gauge pre pressure it is rho a y here it was rho g y a is uh, acceleration uh, any acceleration it's not acceleration due to gravity so these two points are valid for any type of vessel means the vessel may be at rest it may be moving it may be rotating this scheme will work for all even it will work for gas uh, gas manometer which you will be reading in thermodynamics uh, it will work there also this same scheme will work there so now let's take another container and understand what i trying to say so here is the container filled with water uh, i am taking two points this is point 1 this is point 
it is inside water you can take it anywhere and I am starting with this point I am starting with this point this vessel is at rest so only acceleration that it is having is acceleration due to gravity which will be acting like this in this direction so let's find the pressure at point 2 so how we will be writing the equation see it carefully it will be uh, very helpful this is a very good way to solve this type of problem first you will write the pressure here it will be p1 let us say now we will be moving suppose this is uh, h this depth is h now we will moving from this point to this point since we are moving in the direction of gravity so according to our scheme we will be taking positive sign rho and uh, acceleration here is g and depth is h and then we will take equal sign and then we will write the point where we have uh, re reached which is p2 so this is a very simple and unique approach which generally many students leave it but it is very worth it trust me i have also solved many problems using it it's very useful so this was uh, our expression so we will be rewriting it as now this expression tells us a new method of solving manometer problem so we will be following the following scheme to solve manometer problem which i will be discussing now here is another situation here is point p1 and here is point 2 and we have to find the pressure at this point the depth between this point these points are h and the distance between these point is y so we will be using same approach first uh, i would be choosing this path okay you can choose this path also that i would be telling you after this one so we will be choosing this path so let's travel from this point to this point first we will write the pressure at this point which is p1 this is acceleration due to gravity which will be acting downward here now we will be reaching here so since we are moving along the direction of uh, acceleration we will be taking plus sign and writing rho g h okay we are h depth below now we have uh, reached at this point and we have to go to this point but here you have to see one thing that no acceleration exit exist in this direction so acceleration is zero in this direction since vessel is at uh, rest since vessel is not accelerating no acceleration exists in this direction so we will be writing zero here and then rho zero y if we want to write so we can write like this but it will be so zero and we have now reached this point where we have to actually find the pressure which is which we will write as p2 so the pressure is given by p2 is equals to p1 plus rho gh which is same as the earlier expression and which is one of the point mentioned in pascal law also that along the same depth long same depth the pressure is same at all points at all points the pressure is same so this is the case here we will also take cases of rotating vessel accelerating vessels in the upcoming lectures so watch them as well it will be highly helpful to you now we will be taking some very good questions related to manometers 
and we will be solving with this method only we will just be writing uh, some equations and i hope you will solve them by yourself here is another way by which you can find pressure we will be discussing that all uh, that also uh, join this point this is another path here you can see this is part 2 and uh, earlier we have uh, taken path 1 as our uh, traveling path now this is another traveling path we will take this and how pressure will be uh, pressure equation will be applied here we will be seeing that so first of all consider these two point p1 and p2 join them let us say this is angle theta we know this is h and this is y now since this is the variable that we let so we will be expressing and this has been given to us so we will be expressing all the things in terms of this so what will be this length so we know it will be h upon sin theta okay and uh, now gravity is acting like this gravity is acting like like this but we have chose this path so it's clear that we will be having two components of gravity along this path uh, one component will be along this path and other will be perpendicular to this path the perpendicular component will not uh, affect this uh, pressure along this path so it's of no use but this one this will be theta this one will be g sin theta this is point 2 and this is point 1 so we know all the as aspects uh, this this length is h sin theta this point is p1 uh, and this point is 2 and we also know the acceleration along this direction which is pointed towards 2 so we will again be using the same equation the same way starting with p1 we are traveling like this so this is this will be plus rho now here acceleration should be g sin theta and uh, the length of this is h upon sin theta and with it we will reach that point p2 so clearly this and this will cancel and the same expression we will get as earlier which should be the case so this is also a good method you can select any path any point you can travel like this you can travel like this you can travel like this